Todd back here with another Port City review. This time going to 1995 and the movie Braveheart. Uh, I gotta tell you, as a holder of a history degree, I'll be the first to tell you that uh, you should not look to a movie for a uh, primary source to learn history from. Uh, still, I'm gonna tell you that there are some movies out there that uh, do great at uh, being historically accurate. I'm also gonna say that Braveheart is not one of those films. Nope. That's not to say it's a bad film. Don't take it like that uh, from my statement. It's just a fact that while it is a good movie, it takes a lot of liberties with the actual historical story of William Wallace. It's far from the only one to ever do that with actual history, but it still baffles me as to why uh, filmmakers feel they need to do uh, a whole bunch of extra dramatizing considering that Wallace's actual story all by itself is an amazing story. It doesn't need any extra drama. Oh well. Uh, what we do get here is a simplistic story, but one that does work and does entertain. Historical accuracy issues aside, <clears throat> it gives us a story of revenge and betrayal. The battle scenes are unflinching and brutal, and they're also a bit of a problem as they all start to look the same. Uh, the special effects are well done, come mostly in the battle scenes as well as the costumes and sets. The actors, including the supporting cast, are pretty good. I have to say, a few of them play a kind of walking stereotype when you really look at the character, but it's nothing too horrible. Uh, the soundtrack is very good. It definitely adds to the scenes and is memorable. So, don't watch it for any kind of a history lesson, but do watch it for the action and the drama. I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's got graphic violence, heavy language, it's got nudity, uh, substance abuse, sexual violence. I think 16 or over would be best for this one. Um, uh, other than that, it's, 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 it's not a bad film. Uh, but don't go into it thinking you're going to get the real story of the actual living William Wallace because that is not what this movie delivers. In fact, it, it almost gets to be kind of an insult because Wallace was an amazing tactician. He defeated the, the English uh, with tactics, not with just brute force wading through a battlefield swinging a big claymore. Uh, but that's kind of what you get in this movie for the most part. Um, yeah, but there it is. Uh, it's, it's still worth a look just for the adventure and the action. And if you get a chance uh, to see it, I hope you enjoy.